live from Gene Autry Way. Welcome to Angel Stadium. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound now, Shohei Otani. Yeah, electric stuff and just great fastball. Able to move it around the zone. Has that late life to it. It's not uncommon at all to see him get up into double-digit strikeouts in a ball game. And I, I think the one thing about it is getting quicker strikeouts rather than lengthy at-bats. That'll allow him to pitch deep into the ball game and maybe throw a complete game. So just about set now. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. All over that one right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Next pitch misses way outside. Righty delivers, and ball four to a board. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. One and two here. Got him. And one away. Here's Jack Peterson. The two on. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Yastrzemski on second. Flores over at first, so going away. Stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third. Foul ball in a row. And he chases that one. Back to back strikeouts. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split finger fastball because it looks like a four seamer. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Next offering upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. And now it's even up. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering is foul back. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number three. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. We go to the bottom of the first and towing the slab, Logan Webb. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Bottom of the first. Now here is Luis Rangifo. The next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. And that clips the inside corner. I got to count two and two. 
and a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Down to the dirt swing and a miss. Bart down to first. Safe. He beats it out and reaches on the strikeout. Here's Mike Trout. So now one and two. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. Next offering misses down and away. And the righty deals. Swing at a slow roller. Toss to Bell. One gone, bottom half of the first. That is the right so up next, Taylor Ward. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. One out and a runner at second. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time. Pitch misses there and a full countdown. And here it comes. And he grounds one to the right side. And he can't come up with it. That leaves him without a throw. And they don't get an out on the play. Good pitch. Slider down and away. Just stayed down and threw it nicely. Such an easy pitch to pull off of because you're probably thinking fastball down the middle initially. Runners on the corners with one gone. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. One of the unfortunate things is that in this guy's career, particularly early, we just didn't get to see him in the postseason very much. You want to see the best players playing in October. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Yastrzemski in position. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. In comes the first run of the game as the Angels take the lead. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Man at first. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it and that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. The count two and one. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He sends it out of here, and they add a couple more. It's 3-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Joe Adele. The wind of the pitch. Lined into right. Gonzalez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Anthony Rendon going deep for the Halos. It's now 3-0. Second inning, set to go. Here's Brandon Crawford. Oh, 
the 1 1. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ballgame. a one two That's ball two. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes pretty standard zone for Johnson sometimes he might get a little jumpy a little excited and expand the zone but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it and that's important because you got to make guys earn it and a pitch cut on and miss struck him out one out in the second. Oh, I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Here's a one two. And a foul ball. And a one two stays alive. The one two and a foul ball. He stays alive. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Now, here is Luis Gonzalez. Next offering down low and in the dirt. That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The why to kick the pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Ward makes the catch, and that'll do it. Giants down in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. And now it's one and two. And down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not Got getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Max Stassi comes up to him. Here's a 2-1. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. The pitch. Three two now. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that three two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's David Fletcher. That'll drop in. Plays it on a hop. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Back to the top of the lineup. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That one hammered left field way back. And that one's gone. They're going crazy in the dugout. A four spot on the board. It's seven nothing. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. Hits the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job at the plate. Here comes the manager out of the Giants dugout, and he will make a move to the pad. Logan Webb won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Shelby Miller. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. The pitch. Swings and misses. Now one and two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The one two stays alive. Kicks and fires. Rocketed out towards right center. Can't get there. Base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Runner leads away at second. In the air, right field. Gonzalez under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now batting, the third baseman. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Rendon. Ward on its second with two down. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Joe Adele now at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. The 1 1. And a swing and a miss. I got to count 1 and 2. At the belt and fires. That misses. 2 and 2. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch just misses. Full count three and two. Righty to the plate. In the air, left field. Peterson settles under this one, and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. Halos with a grand slam this inning. It's now 7-0.
top half of the third inning. This is Joey Bart. Jack Swing One went ball. around. Two One and two. Next offering is foul back. And a one two again. Line drive, speared it first. And he handles it himself for the out. The center field, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Now, Mike Yastrzemski. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. One down, base is empty. Two one. This one chopped to first. Off balance He's throw down. in time. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Now back. Second baseman, Wilmer Flores. And up next for the Giants, Wilmer Flores. He reached out a walk his first time. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And it's even up. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep. Whatever it takes, get on first base. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Comes a 2 2. Stays alive. And a pitch. That one the other way, and that's a base hit. And that gives Brandon Belt a chance to hit with two out. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And up next for San Francisco, Brandon Belt. Left-hand hitter waits. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Left field. Adele on the move towards the line. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. So the Giants leave one. They continue to trail 7-0. Back in Anaheim as we go to the last of the third. And now the DH, Matt Theis. That's towards center. And a quick out number one. Up next for the Angels, the catcher, Matt. And now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. 
Now a high fly ball out to left center. Yastrzemski settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Up next for the Angels, the shortstop, J.B. Fletcher. Here's the shortstop at the play, David Fletcher. 3-1 now. Lifted in the air, right field. Gonzalez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels go quietly there, and they hold a 7-0 lead. Back here at Angel Stadium, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Jock Peterson. Next okay. offering down in the dirt. Ripped on a line to center. And it's caught for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria digs in now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. pitch way out front for strike two kicks and deals and a foul ball he stays alive starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball but he's gonna have to stay ready for a fastball don't want to watch one go right by you here's a 2-2 two -two. that to right Ward should have this one Squeezes it. Two down. The batter, number 35. Shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Sends it to Walsh. And Crawford is set down. Giants go in order. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. Not going their way. It's 7 nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman. Luis Rangifo. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. We got two balls, one strike. Tosses to first, one out in the bottom of the fourth. The center field, number 27. Mike Trout. So digging in, Mike Trout, one for two. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Crawford gloves it. Throw to first is in time. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Angels held in check, but they're still in control. It's 7-0. Welcome back. Now it's the D.H. Lamont Wade Jr. Yeah, 
And that one hit to first. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Luis Gonzalez. And up next for the Giants, Luis Gonzalez. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Next to hit, Joey Bart. Wade over at second. Gonzalez at first with no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Mike Yastrzemski up here. 1-1 one, one now. Yeah. Runners at first and second with one gone. Left-hand batter waits. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. pitch that one ripped but foul right hander kicks deals hard hit left side and that should be extra bases wait around third he'll score easily it's 7-1 tag and he's out at the play So two down now, and here is Wilmer Flores. Right side, hard hit. Sends it to Walsh. They limit the damage here. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Angels seven and the Giants one. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. So in now for the Angels, Jared Walsh. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Peterson makes the grab. And there's one down. Now batting the third baseman. 
Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. And a 1 1. Ball two. Next offering is outside. The 3 1. And there's ball four. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Or are we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. There's a swing and a drive. That one's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter, the designated hitter, Matt Bice. Man at first, digging in, Matt Thice. Righty delivers. Two balls, one strike. Rendon, the runner at first with two gone. The other way. They get the force. That's the inning. Angels strand one, and they're on top seven to one. New inning getting started at the batter now. Brandon Bell. The 1 1. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The wind of the pitch stays alive. And a ball in two strikes. Nope, and that one ball. cutting but missing down low. And a pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now Jack now Peterson. The left fielder, John. The wind and the pitch. Up the middle. Fletcher fires over to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now batting. Third baseman. Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. The next to hit. And here it comes. Way high. If I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Swing and a miss. And out two and two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And that is that. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Angels 7 and the Giants 1. Back in Anaheim, bottom of the sixth. Here's the catcher, Max Stassi. Next offering is in for a strike. That oh, one that just hit. misses. Two two now. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. David Fletcher. And the righty deals. Line drive and a base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Now at the plate, Luis Rangifo. This one high in the air to left center. Peterson makes the grab. Now batting, the center fielder. Mike Trout. Man at first, and now batting Mike Trout. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hit in the air, right field. And that's the inning. Angels leave one, and they're on top 7 to 1. They turn things over to the southpaw, Jose Suarez. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. The why to kick the pitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Watts preparing to come on if needed. Pergit warming up as well. And that one in the air center field. Trout is there. And there's one away. Now batting. Designated hitter. Lamont Wade Jr. And now it's the Giants DH. Lamont Wade Jr. Kicks and fires. Popped up. Racing makes the catch. Two away down. Now batting. Right fielder. Luis Gonzalez. And up next for San Francisco, Luis Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. This one lifted in the air, left field. Brings it in, and that is the third out of the inning. Giants go down quietly. They're down seven to one. New arm for the Giants, Junior Marte. Now pitching for the Giants, number 74, Junior Marte. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Taylor Ward. The one two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the grab, one down. Now batting, the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Whoa. 
And the batter now, Jared Walsh. And there's a foul ball. One and two now. And that misses off the outside edge. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Scott Alexander, the left-hander, up and throwing. Rebia, the right-hander, loosening up as well. 2-2 two -two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Man, he got a real good pitch to hit right there with two strikes. You cannot miss the that. Not a great the slider at all. And I tell you what, Anthony. that's where you've got to do damage. He looked like he was on time getting the bat through the zone, but he just caught air. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Anthony Rendon. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. Next pitch has popped up. Crawford under this one. Drops into the glove. And that will end the inning. And the Angels are gone in order. And they're on top 7-1. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the Giants catcher, Joey Bart. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Sends it across the first. One up, one down. The center fielder, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Mike Yastrzemski getting ready to hit. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Oh. Next one just misses. And it's two and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. High fly ball, right field. Ward on his way over. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now battle. The second baseman, Wilmer Ward. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off down the right side. Next one off the plate inside. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Swing, and he breaks his bat. That's the third out. Back here at Angel Stadium, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Joe Adele. The pitch. In the air to left, down the line. 
One away. Now batting the designated hitter, Matt Thice. Matt Thice will hit next. Here comes a pitch. And a count one and two. Swings and misses. And there's two down. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And here's the catcher, Max Stassi. The 2 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Swung on, belted. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. Stassi into second, and he's got a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Put a great swing on that pitch to deep center field, and we knew it was going to be close, but just not quite enough. And I'm sure a few of his teammates might be yelling weight room at him right now, but he should definitely feel good about that one. So up next, David Fletcher. The 2 1. Line drive. Makes the catch inning over. Angels strand one, and they're on top 7 1. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. And now the lefty. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And that chance handled. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. The bat. The left field. Peterson. And Jack Peterson stands in. And he deals. There's the strike at the knees. The one two. Stays alive. Next offering is way upstairs. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And they're down to their last out. Stepping in, Evan Longoria. Is just one strike away. Swung on, popped up, left side. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels take this one in a blowout. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.